There's De Vries, in goes Andy Kirk! Kirk scores the opening goal! It's a long ball, not forward. De Vries is a big lad. He actually misses the ball, there's no contact whatsoever. Andy Kirk didn't wait to see if he was offside. He stuck the ball in the back of the net. And has to zero only one up. Only one goal for Kirk in the whole of last season. He's equaled that already this time around. And you have to admire a great bit of finishing from Kirk. De Vries succeeded in putting off Smith. Kirk was lost by the Hibs defence. Jean-Louis Valois looking to create number two. He's very elusive, difficult to tie down. Here's a chance for Mark De Vries. Is it two? It certainly is. A dream debut for Mark De Vries. His first goal for Hearts. His first start for Hearts. And they're 2-0 up in the derby. It's a fantastic goal from Hazard. Valois again down that left-hand side, cutting inside again. A magnificent chip almost in the middle. And Big De Vries, he certainly controlled that one exceptionally well on his chest. And the ball was only going to end up one place, and that was the back of the net. Hart deserved the 2 0 up. Great, great skill from Valois. The Hearts fans are excited about what they see from Valois. And they're certainly excited about this finish from the Dutchman De Vries. He did everything right, he got it down quickly off his chest, and there was power and venom in that shot. Luna and Brebner, and Murray! Ian Murray gets the goal, Hibbs badly wanted. Less than six minutes played after the interval, and suddenly for these Hibbs fans, their hopes come alive. It's a fabulous finish from Ian Murray. Pakaluna plays his part in the ball, just laying it back there. And Ian Murray, a good late run into the box, giving Antonemi absolutely no chance with the strong header. A little bit similar to Scott Sevens missing the first half, but gets on target and giving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance whatsoever. 19 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Hearts two, Hibs one. Delicately poised. There's De Vries. There's Valois. Saved by King and De Vries! He scored a second. It's dreamland for the Dutchman. 3-1 Hearts. And that could be the goal that finally kills off Hibs' resistance. There's plenty of time left. But now Hearts back with that two goal advantage. It's that long ball again into the box. The freeze is enough presence here to get a flick on. Valois shot on target, so important to hit the target. And what a composed finish. The big lad who mentioned his touch earlier, but that's real composure. All he's got to do eventually is hit the target, and he does that exceptionally well. The Hearts new boys are proven to be very, very effective today. Well, a moment to savour for Mark de Vries. And an instant hero at Tyne Castle. Craig Levine enjoyed that. Ian Murray trying to force the ball in. It was deflected away. There's McKenna. And now Sefford. McMullen. For De Vries. Good touch. Could it be the hat trick for Mark De Vries? It could, you know. than this, and what a finish to complete your hat-trick, all the composure in the world. It's a marvellous finish from the big fella, great play from Young McMullen down the left-hand side, lifting his head, a great delivery into the box, great composure again, managing to take it beyond the defender, and just chip it over Tony Kay, giving him no chance whatsoever. What a magnificent hat-trick in his first derby game in Edinburgh. Well, I think he can probably now go three months without scoring and the Hearts fans won't really mind too much because it all means so much and Craig Levine has a, a jig of joy with Peter Houston. Gary Smith wants the ball away but Gary wheels onto it. Is there to be number five for De Vries? It's unbelievable! Edinburgh Derby and four goals out of a 5-1 victory. It's fabulous play from Gary Wales, he's chased a lost cause there. What a magnificent ball in, and that man, De Vries, is there again. It's a clinical header, it's a, an intelligent header across the goalkeeper, giving him absolutely no chance, catching him wrong-footed. 
But Gary Mills managing to lift his head again. That's a great head, a marvellous finish. And Tony Cake knew that he was a beaten man because the header was directed across and away from him. There was no chance of getting in the way of it. He scored with his feet, he scored with his head. Four goals for Mark de Vries. As Hearts won Wyatt in the Edinburgh Derby, the first of the season, he gets a special hug from the head coach.